Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Today is episode number 20. If you guys are enjoying the content, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and feel free to hit that join button as it really does help support the channel. Hopefully you guys enjoy. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we're now here for the Class D International Tour, and I have one of the weirdest cars ever, so... Uh, I'm not even going to tell you what the car is. If you can tell what it is from the thumbnail, good on you. But uh, I'm, I'm not telling you what it is. It's going to be a surprise, because it looks fucking wonky. Uh, we're going to start off with Infinium Raceway, then Hockenheim Ring, Road Atlanta, Indianapolis, Sebring, Miguelo, and then finishing off with... Silverstone. Let's get going. Yep. Someone, someone has cut off the roof of my car. So, uh, this is what we're driving. Oh, it's such a wonky thing. It's such a weird and wonderful and wonky little thing. It's quite good to drive, actually. <laughs> I mean, I should expect it to be. Someone's chopped the roof off. I've got an MX-4. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? The fact that you've just driven that Alfa Romeo like that absolutely disgusts me. He should not be driving. Neither should I, but who cares? It's very loud compared to me. How is it loud? Is it loud? I mean, I can turn it down a tad. I can't turn it down too much because otherwise it messes with all my other audio. That should be better then. OBS's monitoring is fucking dog wank. It's so bad. This car's so nippy in the corners. That I'm over, like, oversteering almost. But it's like, it's not oversteer. It's just, I'm gripping so much as I'm going through these corners. I think that should be better, audio-wise. It can't go any lower than that, to be honest. I don't think it can. Whoa! Let's have a look at the interior. Ah, oh, this isn't the interior button. This is. Oh my gosh, that's actually quite nice. Is that an emergency stop button? That is, isn't it? Most prototype cars have an emergency stop button like that. See, if it wasn't for the fact that rain existed, these cars would be perfect. They'd be so cool. They'd be so good. But unfortunately, in the real world, rain does exist. Does the rear wing work? The mirror as well? That mirror placement is so good for this game. Because you can look and see exactly what's behind you. On both sides as well. That is actually pretty cool. I like that. Let's go back to a normal camera view, though. Oh, it's such a good noise! I love how this engine sounds.
I'm so looking forward to playing um, the Horizon games. I'm actually excited to finish this so that we can start on Horizon 1. Because Horizon 1 is such, such a good game. Motorsport 8 comes out in October, I think. Was it October or November? I can't remember what the date was that they announced. But uh, no matter what, once they announce it, Horizon 1 is the best Forza game. Uh, I still want to say Horizon 2 is my favourite, just because Horizon 2 had that better atmosphere. It felt more like a festival rather than... Yeah, no worries, Pandy. No worries. Yeah, it felt more like a festival than... Uh, what's it called? Horizon 1. Horizon 1 had that festival atmosphere, but it felt very much like... Oh, there's a little bit of festival here. Here's some races. Um, and it was very much just there. There was obviously the underground scene in the festivals as well. But with... Horizon 2, there was just that... The road trips, for example, was a great addition. Because you would go between, like, areas of the map. You're forced to do this area, then this area, then this area. And I think that's such a great idea. I love it. And obviously having the championships as well. Like, Horizon 2 itself, I would quite easily sit and just keep playing it. If it wasn't for the fact that I have to play the other Forza games first, I could quite easily just, just gone. Right, we're playing Horizon 2 today. Let's go. Obviously, when the new Forza Motorsport comes out, we'll probably do like a stream here and there. But obviously, I'm, I will still be putting more hours into Motorsport 4 or. Horizon 1, depending on which game I'm playing at the time, than Motorsport 8. Just because of the fact that, unless Motorsport 8 is phenomenal and blows my mind to the point I'm addicted, in which case I'm going to be very torn between the two. Plus Starfield as well. Starfield's coming out. It's going to be fun. Oh, yeah. New merch is coming soon as well. My uh, design for the hoodies is ready. It's ready to go live whenever. i got lo loads of cool things. I'm trying to get the YouTube grind back on again. And I want it, I want it to go well. I'm putting loads of effort into all the stuff that I'm doing on YouTube now. Um... And yeah, I'm really hoping that it sort of pays off. Hoping to see some new people in the chat, in the streams and whatnot. Like, I, th I think we could do it.
area. Feel some warm air uh, radiating from my computer. Oh. <laughs> I tried to spin it around and hope that it would just sort of go backwards. Uh, it, it it did not do that, unfortunately. Well, I got the master fan badge. Woo! Lovely, master likes me. Good, they better do. Poor me, I'm gonna go cry in the corner. Ah! I don't even know what the fuck that was. Even I don't know. Damn. I think if I'm not mistaken, this is technically episode 20. Like, we're already on 20 videos for Motorsport 4. My goal is by the end of August to be at over 20 videos backlog because if I can hit 20 video backlog quite easily then I can do double uploads for four months the plan is to do double uploads for four months well I'm gonna do double uploads for September if it goes well I'll do it for October if it goes well November December and if it still goes well I'll keep doing it I'll keep doing it if double uploads worked. But the views have to be there. If the views aren't there, it ain't gonna happen. So. Because if double uploads works, then by the time it gets to potentially start of 2024, that could be the point where I say, right, Let's do F1 Mega Series and do F1 on the side of Forza. So I do a Forza video and then an F1 video every day. But again, the only way that that would happen is if double uploads works for Forza Motorsport 4. And again, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. There's no harm in trying. But there's there's also no harm in not doing it. But... With the uh, position that we're in at the moment, with how the channel is, it's not like we're, you know, having to decide how to improve, because there's, there's not much I can do in my exact position unless I become a Mr. Beast clone which I'm not going to I want to do what I'm doing at the moment I enjoy what I'm doing at the moment I don't want to do outside the box just for views like it defeats the purpose of wanting to do YouTube because then it's doing YouTube for money and solely for money like I enjoy doing YouTube I wouldn't mind the money I need the money to go full time, but at the same time, I don't want to go out of my way to make content that isn't what I enjoy making. I enjoy just sitting, chatting, playing full time. It's good enough for me. Oh, 
Bum 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 Not looking too bad. Let's start so far. Hockenheim ring! Yo Owen, what up? How are you today? Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a good day. In there slowly, fair enough, fair enough. Taking life day by day. It's pretty much what I'm doing. <laughs> How behind is miles behind, by the way? 20 seconds. This thing's a beast. It's also very weird. I still don't know how I feel about it. It's very much similar to that um, SLR. That sort of just had its roof completely cut off. Or the Lamborghini. SVJ or something like that. They just cut the entire roof off. Strange car. Do 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 do. Bum 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 In theory this section of track doesn't actually need to be there. So in theory Hockenheim it could just be like 
a circle like that, in theory. I think it does actually have, like, a section of track that goes all the way off in the distance. Because it used to be pretty much almost an oval, and then it had this section here. At the bottom. That was like... I don't know. Same with, uh, what's the other one? Spa. Spa has a much longer version of that track. Like, from the old days. Like a classic track. Oh, that's our race done. Nice, I'll take that. That's a good result. Obviously, first place. Can't say no to a first place finish. Not bad. I don't remember what DRM actually stands for, but it... Dramatically ruining media. That's what we'll call it. Because all it does is just ruins video games. It harms actual consumers rather than video game pirates. It's a weird looking car. I don't even know anymore. Doing all right. Ah, slow down. Get around that corner. Nice.
Wow. 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 Nice. Do 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 do. One move. We got two more laps to go. Woohoo! Did it do? 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 Did it do?
I definitely need to stand up in a minute because I think my legs are gone dead. My legs are dead, my arse is dead, everything's dead. Come on, can I lap someone? Nah, I don't think I'm far enough along. Uh, like, definitely not after that corner. Bloody hell. That was dreadful. Didn't even deserve to overtake after that one. Meow. <laughs> I've lost control of me car. Me poor car. Top of the line, level 36. Honestly, the uh, did they not give away the Bugatti in this game? I thought they did. Look! It's here! Alexis! It's the LFA! It's the LFA! Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I love it! And, obviously, gotta take it in white. What? Ah, uh, oh, it's such a... It's such a... I love it. There we go. How are you today? Hopefully you're having a good day. Welcome to the, uh... The shit show. <laughs> That's all this is now. It's just a fucking shit show. <laughs> oh. Beep, beep, bitch. Get out the way. Oh no! This is so catchy. I love this song. I think I actually used this a lot in like editing a couple of years ago. I want to say about two or three years ago. Maybe three years now. It's been a while. I've been editing for, uh, like, actually, September 29th is the anniversary of the channel, or the first video that I uploaded, and that's going to be five years this year. Five years. That's... Wow. I, I, I'm mind blown. And the fact that I've, A... Had this hobby for five years. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, like, gaming's quite an easy hobby to keep hold of. Because it's fun. It's addictive. Ooh, ooh. But, uh, yeah, no. Yeah, it's quite interesting. 
Vicky. Well, you're old. What do you mean I'm old? How am I old? I started doing YouTube when I was... 15? 16? 15? I'm gonna say 15. 16. Is that a windshieldless Miata? Yes, Heinz, it is a... It, yeah, someone, someone's taken a saw to my car. And I'm not very happy with it. <laughs> I'm not old. I'm not old! I'm 21! <laughs> I'm not that old. I should bloody hope not, anyways. God, imagine when I hit 30. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Just sit in the corner and just, just, like, cry. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. I'm in first place. This car's got insane handling abilities. Makes me older though, because I'm 25. Ha! Old Heinz! You're an old ketchup brand. Old. <laughs> uh, I, I need to go to retirement. <laughs> Heinz has been sent off to the retirement home. Goodbye. <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant. The fuck was that? Clueless. I'm a quarter of a century old, oh, big deal. <laughs> do you know, as soon as you've... Now that you've said that, I actually do feel old. <laughs> what the fuck? Why do... Because that means I'm one fifth of a century old. And that just feels insane to say. Like, because a century is a hundred and... I hate that. Why did... Ah. Uh, uh... No. It feels like a lot, because it is a lot. Do you know one thing I find really weird as well? Do you know how, like, days it seems to go really fast and whatnot? But when you do the math, like, I've only been alive for... Almost 8,000 days. Like, 8,000 days, when you think how long it's felt, doesn't actually sound like as big a number as you think. And it's like, ooh. Ooh. No, that can't be right. Eight... 365 times 10. Three, yeah! Like 7,200. Odd. That's crazy though. Days are long. They're very, very long. <laughs> That's brilliant. Earth are there all these flags on the top of the stands? Like, I thought when it came to motorsport, like, they couldn't have flags like that on the side of the track. Specifically because they are used to inform drivers. So, like, if a green flag was waving, it's good to race. If it was, like, a yellow flag, you had to be careful. If it was a black flag, you had to get off the track. You know, that kind of... I'm surprised they could have flags like that on the side of the track like that and I know it's sort of like oh but it's beyond like the pit wall and whatnot but I mean it, if you're not paying attention to the flags and you sort of just see out the corner of your eye a green flag it could be quite easy to actually get confused with that I don't know I feel like that would be a mistake that I would make I would turn up and be like oh 
Shit. I'll accidentally slow down because I see a yellow flag. And then I cause an accident and then the actual yellow flags will come out. Not long ago we were studying at elementary school. Oh, don't know. I remember shit from like primary school. Mate, when I, when I was a kid, school was shit. Like, shit. The only time that sort of education actually became somewhat decent for me was when I went to college. Went to college and obviously, well, my college started at year 10, so it was technically the end of secondary, but it was like a couple of years before it because it was one of these engineering ones. But um, no, like everything up until year nine, year nine was the last year where it was somewhat all right. Yeah, year 10 was good. Like, ev everything before that, though, was just shit. Shit. I never got on with anyone, because, like, uh, Oh, look, there's a special kid. Oh, he's a dickhead. Ah, funny. No, but it was, like... Nah. Wasn't a fan of school. I'll be honest though, I did find like one or two pretty decent friends when I was in year, in, I want to say late year eight. Start of year nine. Could have been around there. And they were actually alright, so I sort of had a small group that I could go with. But by that point, there was still like seven years of just shit school. <laughs> School was not great. Let's be honest. It was in the stinker. Before I found out that computer existed, I actually had a life of friends. See, I never had friends because I wasn't allowed a computer. Yeah, you know how ironic that is. <laughs> I, was, I was looking at Discord. <laughs> you know how ironic that is, though. Like, as a kid, I wasn't really allowed to play, like, video games and whatnot, so I couldn't make friends, like, that were into the stuff that I was into. So it was, it was, growing up as a kid was difficult, 100%. And I'll, I'll definitely say if I was allowed like Xbox from a younger age, I probably would have found more friends that were into similar stuff that I'm into. But, cause I, I remember in school, like when I was playing like Dirt 2, for example, and I was playing it with obviously myself, but I remember going to school and talking about playing Dirt 2 and all the other people that played Dirt 2 and that were, I think there was one or two kids in my class that played Dirt 2. And it, it would have been good to have, like, be allowed to play Xbox Live during that time frame. It would have been good, but didn't get that uh, opportunity, unfortunately. Um, yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.